Hey, I think you're at the, you're supposed to tap my shoulder so I know it's you. <laughs> You're beautiful. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> this is Hack and Katie. Welcome to your wedding. You have perfect weather, a little bit of a breeze. Tenants look amazing, and all the groomsmen are wearing pants. <laughs> I cherish the life we have created together. You are my favorite person. Katie, I vow to stand by your side always, embracing every part of you and loving you unconditionally. Zach has always been the smartest guy in the room while also being the dumbest. Getting a perfect score on his SAT, simple. Three. Pants on three, one, two, three, pants! Knowing that on your wedding day, you should show up with pants. It is just such a joy that you're not just my sister, you're also a dear friend to me. And it also brings me so much joy to know that you and Zach will have each other the rest of the way. The fact that I'm here in this bridesmaid's dress at this point in my life is proof that I love you. And you hope. Yeah, I mean, you two are some of my favorite people. We've had some of the best times together, and I genuinely look forward to what's to come. Speaking of golf, <laughs> I recently beat Zach for the first time during our bachelor trip in Vegas. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Zach and Katie, thank you for such a, a wonderful venue. It's, it's, it's been a pleasure to be here the last two days. It's really, really nice. The first question I asked her, is he kind? And she said, Mom, he's the kindest guy I ever met. I said, is he, is he as kind as Daddy? And she said, yes. And that's when I knew that this thing had legs. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Zach and Katie's wedding. out all of the tradition, the expectation, the ceremony, it really is two people that have said, hey, I want to build something with you together that's much better than I could do on my own. Dear Zachary, being with you has always felt right. From the moment I met you, you felt like a best friend. Zach, to you. Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, walking along the Williamsburg Riverside with you on our first date has to be one of the top five moments of my life. Surpassed only by falling in love with you, moving in with you, getting engaged to you, and now building a life with you. 
I think we're the lucky ones because we get to be here to celebrate with them, two amazing people that are hopelessly in love and are getting married today. I'm so excited to marry you. Thank you for helping me become more of myself, not defined by external factors. Thank you for loving and accepting me for all that I am and all that I hope to be. Katie, I love you so much, and I couldn't be more excited about spending the rest of my life with you. Watching you fall in love with Zach has been one of the greatest honors of my life. So it only makes sense that someone as amazing and special as Katie would meet someone as amazing and special as Zach. My little girl has a great big heart. And I knew when she gave it, it would be forever. <laughs> There's an old adage that says, you always want your kids to have a better life than you do. I don't think it was meant to be by 29 years old. <laughs> Zach and Katie. It's been an honor and a privilege to watch your relationship grow. You complement each other's weaknesses. You bring out each other's brilliance. And yet somehow still can't show up to anything on time. <laughs> and when I see you and Zach, I see people who are so well matched in so many ways. You're both so smart, adorable, great at what you do. Ditto. With such great joy that I see you find a genuine partner in Zach who sees you and sees all of you the way that we do. Um, so Zach, thank you for loving my friend the way you do. Thank you for loving every part of her as we do and seeing how special she is. As your first seconds as a married couple start ticking away, I send you with this wish. Stay best friends, explore together, walk your eventual doodle puppy together. Write to each other, not as much as you did before, that was a lot, but share what you're seeing, feeling and sensing. You were both so perceptive. Keep entertaining together, protect the happiness that you've built. Countless adventures await you need not wait a second more. Introducing Mr. and Mrs. Corbel. Hi. Hi. You look so handsome. Aw, thank you. We got, some, we got a fun story to tell you in a little bit. Oh boy. I didn't bring my pants. <laughs> wait, where? How is that possible? The ones that, um, that you got altered? Yeah, when did you, where did you put them when you got them back? In that closet. In the thing? Downstairs closet. In the... No, I just slid, I just yep. slid it. No, oh, that's where they still are. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, these are Patrick's pants? <laughs> we got, we are... I'm so glad you're wearing pants. I, you know, they're... <laughs> They saw the tuxedo underwear and they were like, maybe you should just go in that. And I was like, maybe I will. I don't know. Oh, I'm right. so glad you're wearing pants. It's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. We're, yeah. we're, we're good. We're good.